In this lesson, we will learn a process uh, for uh, accessing, compiling, and uh, executing uh, programs uh, on a remote server. In terms of the importance of this process, I think it is uh, one of the most important things you can learn as a programmer. Um, in many cases, software development is not done on local computers that are on your desk uh, in a Windows environment. In many cases, uh, software development is done on uh, computers that are remote, like for example our server. And uh, it will be done not on a Windows system, but on a Unix type system. And the development environment might not be graphical. So this uh, creates uh, a little bit of a challenge for somebody who never used um, a Unix-like uh, operating system. So um, let's get started. Um, the first thing to uh, consider is how to connect to the remote server. So um, uh, in one of the previous uh, lessons, I suggested that you download a little very small program to that enables us to connect to a remote server. So I already have this one uh, copied into my desktop. This particular program, PUTTY, doesn't have to be uh, installed. It's just uh, a small piece of software that can be copied directly into your desktop and um, executed by just double clicking. Okay, so from uh, this screen, uh, you will specify the uh, destination of your connection. So in our case, the name of the server, the destination is okay, rookery.mechanery.edu. Uh, the port by default will be 22, but if it is not, change it to 22. By default, the connection type should be SSH, which basically means that this is a secure connection. Um, and uh, that's basically it. Um, when you click on open, the, this kind of a window should uh, be uh, opening. Now, uh, what will be the login information? Um, the login information, um, uh, I will be sending you by uh, separate uh, uh, messages. Everybody will have individual account with a login and a password. So at this point, I am just gonna type uh, a login and password for my account. And uh, this uh, demonstration will be using the type of an account that you will be using. So I'm not gonna be using any administrative accounts or anything special. It's uh, going to be exactly the same account you will be having. So uh, my username will be MCC user 13. Okay, now I am pressing enter. Give it a little bit of time for the server to connect kind of depends on the situation, you know, network traffic. Um, now, the password information will not be uh, displayed on the screen when you will be typing, right? So you have, after you type the password, which uh, again will not be shown on screen, um, and press enter, that will be the type of a screen that you will see if, if everything went well. So congratulations, from now on you are connected to the server. 